Some eastern Maine residents are fearful of losing what drives their local economy, the East Grand Lake. The spokesperson for the mill that operates the dam that keeps water levels maintained says it's too expensive to keep up. New Center's Sean Stackhouse takes us to Weston, where more than 100 people were rallying to keep the dam and the lake as it is. The dam produces enormous amounts of benefit to the people here. Many of them gathering at the first settler's lodge in Weston on Saturday to say the same thing. The Forest City Dam is essential to the community around East Grand Lake. We've retired here. I've traveled the world and uh, this is the most beautiful part that uh, I visited. Beautiful and profitable. It's one of Maine's most popular fishing areas, drawing thousands to the region near the Canadian border each year. And recreation and natural resources, if you just look around this area, is what we have. That's our base, economic base. And so anything that affects that negatively affects our area negatively. Now many fearing that could happen if something happens to the Forest City Dam that helps maintain the lake's water level. It's operated by the Woodland Pulp Mill in Baileyville, and they say it's becoming too expensive to maintain. We did file a petition to surrender, and we very much wanted to engage the public. Certainly, we have no interest in pulling the gates and dewater East Grand Lake. Hoping to surrender ownership of the dam to the state, but the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission rejected that petition to surrender. Uncertainty of who will operate it now creating concerns. But it has to be preserved the way it is, or otherwise, this area as a region is economically gone. Because if the dam is removed, water levels could drop more than six feet, impacting lakefront property taxes and especially businesses who rely on the water. It's going to be an economical, financial uh, and environmental disaster. No parties wanting the East Grand Lake impacted, but with no answers as to who will maintain the dam, the lake's future is uncertain. A public meeting on August 28th hopes to start that conversation. In Weston, Sean Stackhouse, New Center, Maine. That public meeting at the end of August is being hosted by the Federal Energy Regulatory Committee and will feature representatives from the Mill and Maine's Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife.